Hey, what's up everybody? This is Polio Jr. And in today's video, I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. So without going through all the twists and turns and what you have to do to retrieve um, files from an old hard drive and so forth. Um, so let's just, we'll do this step by step. So, one, this actually was an old hard drive of mine right here, um, which has a password on it that, you know, I can't access unless it was on the original device. Well, even then I couldn't access it without the password. But anyway, so what we have here, this is... Um, so this is actually a SAT, this is called a external SATA box, so, um, or a portable SATA box, because, whatever, external, e, SATA and eSATA are different, but anyway, so this is just for plugging in SATA hard drives, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's the laptop size or if it's a regular size. Now, I'll put a link in the description. I'll try to find some really um, least expensive ones. Um, as you can see, what I've done here with this one is I've actually, um, <laughs> this was a backup hard drive at one time and I actually just took it apart. Um, so I could just, you know, just very simply, you know, plug in whatever SATA hard drive I wanted to. So here's my old hard drive. I'm plugging it in. And Windows 10 has actually made it a lot easier. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing um, to retrieve some files. So let's turn it on we should see the blue light up right there we'll see it pop up all right and you're gonna have to excuse me here because I'm uh, using a, a new keyboard here that I'm trying to get the hang of so anyway so when we get, we're in Windows 10, so this is, um, this is the hard drive that I just plugged in. Now, if you've tried this, you, um, you can't access anything on this. It might show you the folders and maybe even some files. But you can't access it without doing a crazy amount of um, editing, editing permissions and so forth. I have done a video on that before. Um, I'll try to find. I'll. I will try to find a link for that as well. But I will show you how easy Windows 10 has actually made this, and I actually found this out by accident. So now. I'm not going to go through the whole process. I'm going to tell you the whole process, but I'm not, uh, you'll see. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to, uh, search, boop, 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 boop. And we're going to go to, we're just going to type in user. And... We're going to write add, edit, or remove other uh, users. I'm going to pause this for one second. Okay. I, I, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any sensitive information on here. So, alright, let's turn that off. So, anyway, from here, it it's... I, Believe me, this is going to like blow your mind how extremely easy this is. 
what you're going to do is scroll down to other users and hit add someone else to this PC. Now, I don't want to go through this whole micro, you know, building a Microsoft account. Um, I did have to in order just to get in here where it was, you know, I had to enter, you know, an email address or a phone number. So, um, whatever the case may be. And then long story short, that gets you into, um, another account on this same laptop. My laptop's under here have it facing up that's because that's where the air vents are so but after you're done creating this account all you're going to do is log into that account right after you are after you are done logging into this account you're all you're going to do is the same thing we just did right and that is plugging in the, you know, the portable um, SATA controller here. So that's it. And then for whatever reason, when that is plugged in to a newer uh, username, you can access all of the files, everything. It doesn't hassle you. It doesn't ask you for permission. It doesn't ask you for anything. It literally just lets you get into any file, directory, you name it, whatever you need. It's on there. And you can just put it on, um, you know, like a thumb drive. You can copy it to the desktop and then put it wherever you want. Um, but that's it. That's literally it. So you turn on the you turn on the computer, you make that username, and then from there, um, like I said, you plug in the um, you plug in this device here. It's not this exact device, but if it if it will fit, um, you know, it's basically a casing for a SATA hard drive. So as long as you can get the casing for the SATA hard drive and everything will fit, you know, it'll power up and the, and you can re retrieve the information, that's it. Uh, why Windows 10 has decided to do this, I have no freaking clue because I used to have to go through so many permissions and all these different commands to um, to retrieve information from hard drives, from old laptops and computers and so forth. And then Windows 10 just said, hey, why don't you just make a new account and then uh, plug this in and retrieve all the information that way. Uh, without doing anything how about that that's pretty cool right so um, I guess that's cool sure but um, so use this responsibly obviously you know this is definitely um, th this does have pros and cons the pros are this is easy f easier for you to retrieve any loss uh, information you have on an old SATA hard drive um, it is a con um, if there's some weirdo trying to uh, look at your information so <laughs> but yeah it's that it's really that simple like it's literally just having Windows 10 uh, make sure you have the casing for the uh, for the SATA uh, hard drive and just have that plug 
like I said, make the new account and then plug this in when the new account turns on and then you'll be able to access everything without limitation. So, um, yes, I think that is all. Um, it's very simple. It's very easy to set up. So, um, and good luck retrieving uh, any, inf any information you're looking for. Please let me know if this works because it worked for me like a charm and I wasn't even trying to to do it so but with that i love you guys you have a great night and i will see you in the next one see you